Happy Valentine's Day, everyone. Well, belated Valentine's Day, but the Valentine's Day event is here. There's a little postponement because it wasn't quite ready, but that's okay. I'm still, still pretty excited to participate because there's a brand new race for us to try. Yes, we're going to have to find a friend who could team up with us and do the race. For those of you who did not see the live stream on my birthday, I would like to introduce you to Rose Rider. I purchased a new horse during the stream. It was so exciting. Everyone helped me pick her out and they helped me name her. So that was really, really cool. So she's my special birthday horse. Uh, I've got on as much Valentine's gear as I could find. I'm not great at putting outfits together. What can I say? The pants are a little more red than pink. Uh, not sure why I picked the hat. I don't know. It's a mess. I'm always a mess. <laughs> But I also would like to get some new hair soon because the blue does a lot of clashing. <laughs> I bought one of the new teddy bears, the green one, because I think it's the cutest. It, it also has a few less star points than some of the other ones. And uh, I don't like the bags that they offer here, so I'm going to keep my eye out for some different bags. But I'm just using the blue one for now. Also clashes with everything that I'm wearing. But that's okay. But I'm here in Moreland because there's been some changes made. Uh, you may have noticed the loading screen was a little bit different and barrels and stuff were removed from the Cavaletti race uh, for beginners. It's one of the first things you do in the game. And also the wild bobcat race was changed to make it a little bit easier because it happens early on in the game. And there's a lot of getting players uh, more involved in the beginning. There's, there's some speed bumps that probably should be a bit lower than they actually are. I think the, the help section is going to get a redo and just making sure the beginning of the game is smooth for new players just starting out because things can be a little confusing when you first start. So we're going to give it a go and see just how different it is. Plus it will level up Rose Rider a little bit. I don't, I don't think the Valentine's gear has any stats on it so we're in for a good time. Well, so far, so good. These boulders are still here. I've never liked the boulders. <laughs> so, I don't know. I'm thinking of some natural colored hair this time. Just to mix it up a little bit. But I had a blast during my birthday live stream. I hope you guys did as well. Oh, we've cut out the whole hill over here. Okay. Oh, that cuts down the time significantly. Maybe not for Rose Rider, but... <laughs> but hey, maybe that leaves things open to create another track. Another version of the Wild wild Bobcat Track 2. Where you do the full race again. Oh, was a boulder removed there? Because I feel like that was always a risky turn. I wonder if these are a little different. I feel like I usually bump into stuff on that trail. Alright, that's fun. I would have to say Wild Bobcat Race is never one of my favorites. Well, that wasn't too bad. Cool, tell me what you think. Did you like the new race? We're here now in Jarlheim to partake in the awesome Valentine's Day race. We're going to have to gather up some friends to get it started because you can't do it alone. Valentine's Day is all about sharing love and kindness and friendship with other people, so <laughs> we're going to have to be brave and find someone who will do a race with us, even though we're only level two. <laughs> Before we get going, I want to say a special hello to Ella in Sweden. We didn't get to meet this time while I was there, but I did get a picture with your dad. I hope you thought that was pretty cool. Hopefully next time when I go out, uh, there will be more advanced notice, so maybe we could plan something and I can actually meet you this time. It made me so sad that I didn't get to. So hello, Ella. I hope you're enjoying the Valentine's Day event, and I will hopefully meet you soon. Okay, let's see here what Miss Low Westberg has to say. Happy Valentine's Day! Have you tried out this year's Valentine's Day race? No, you must! But first, you need to find a friend to race with. Right away, to find a friend to race with, or why not try to make some new friends? After all, a friendship race is no race at all if you race it by yourself. Of course. No, I don't need help starting a group. We got this, we got this. Oh, look, they've got a red bear. Well, good, we've got an invite. 
from Joanna Eastbaker. We are ready. Oh, let's turn our, turn in our quest. Great, you found someone to race with. If you're ready, you can start the race by using the sign here next to me. Oh, we're ready. We are ready, I think. Oh, she's on a new Mustang. I haven't done my Mustang. Ooh, look at all the... There's so much happening. I haven't done uh, my Mustang video yet, but I raised Lucky Dust all the way to 10, and he's just waiting to come into the game. But I'd like to do a special video for that. And she's gone already. I don't even know what level her horse is. Look at the flashing! I love it. There's floating hearts and doves! Oh, that's so cool! And the hearts explode when you run through them. That's awesome. I think she waited because she got too far ahead and <laughs> didn't want me to fail out of the race. <laughs> All right, we got that one. It was a little off, but we got it. We got it. Little white picket fences. That's so pretty. Look at all the people here. Hey guys. Hello. This is Rose Rider. Hello. Ooh, pull in tight there. Okay. Look, they've even brought their cars. That's adorable. There's so much extra stuff in this race and I love it. Ooh, oh no. Ooh, I thought we were going to hit the lamp post. Oh no. <laughs> This race is really long. Much longer than I was expecting. Boom. I love that flash. I have to take a picture. I hope it worked. Oh, coming through again. Hey, guys. Hello. Great place to stand. We came through here twice. Okay, now we're going left. Rose Rider is a great jumper. I feel like I've been saying that about all the horses lately. Coming in. Yay. The finish line. Talk to Lo and she will give you a reward. A reward for reaching the end of the race. Hooray. Lo, I love your race. Yippee, congratulations for celebrating Valentine's Day with your friends by reaching the finish line. As a reward, I will give you a cute heart. Thank you, trading a heart. Take the friendship heart you got from me and trade it for something nice here next to me. Since this is your first time doing this, I have fixed it, so you just need one heart to trade this time. Oh, so I wonder if some things take more than one heart. Oh, I'm sorry. Oh, it's kind of like the Santa swap. What did we get? A little heart. A loving box of charm. Oh, it's a pet. It's a pet. Look at that. It's in my bag. Ha. Yippee. That's great. I love it. You and your friends can collect more friendship hearts by riding the race more times. Thank you. I wonder what the secret gift will be next time. Thank you so much to everyone who did the races with me. It was so much fun. Everyone was so happy to do the races with each other. It's really easy to just run up and say, Hey, does anyone want to do a race? Because yes, everyone wants to do the races. After the first one, you need uh, three hearts to do a trade-in. So you have to do the race three times to earn a prize. So everyone's very eager to do more races. But I thought we'd check in with Catherine, who needs some Valentine's Day help here at her beautiful cafe. Except these stairs still stress me out a little bit. They're really, like, tall, right? <laughs> and short. Oh, well. Oh, you really get the feel for how awful my outfit is. Look at those gloves. <laughs> Catherine. Hi, Cadence. How's it going? Jumpy, giddy, nervous butterflies in your tummy? Uh, you look a bit confused. You haven't forgotten, right? It's Valentine's Day soon. Ah! Although it already passed. I'm so excited about it all that I can hardly sit still. With all the excitement, I might need a favor from you. 
No, I don't suppose I even really need to ask. You're always so ready to help. You say yes before I've even said what I need help with. Maybe that's how you feel around Valentine's Day. Everybody's friendly and wants to help show a little love. That said, you're always ready to help, which I suppose makes you that little bit extra special. In a good way, I mean. Oh my, now I'm babbling on again, as usual. Anyway, here's the thing. I'd, lo I'd thought about organizing something special for the menu here at the cafe to celebrate Valentine's Day. Oh, Cadence, it all seemed like such a lovely idea, but I think I've taken too much on. There's so much I want to do, but I just don't know how I'll find the time. Oh, you'll help? Fantastic. Thanks a million. We need to fancy up the menus with a little decoration, decorate the cafe with a Valentine's theme, and bake some special Valentine's cakes to sell. Tons and tons to do. But we can get it done together. If you start... If you make a start with the menus, I'll begin decorating. Over there by the serving trolley is some red paper. Take these scissors and cut out some hearts that we can stick to the menus. All right, we got our scissors. And we can cut some hearts. Beautiful, beautiful. Oh, we only needed three. Okay, job done. Oh, such a lovely hearts you've cut out, Cadence. They'll be perfect for the menu. You're wondering if we should, you should stick them like this, or if you should stick them like that? Catherine's not going to know. What do you think, Cadence? How do you think we should stick the paper hearts to the menus? What great ideas you've had, Cadence. Oh, I don't know which of the ideas I like best, so you can decide. I'll just go and get the glue stick so you can stick the hearts to the menus. Hmm. That's odd. It was here just a minute ago. Here it is. <laughs> I had left my glue stick in my other pocket, so there you go. Take this and the stick of paper hearts to the menus. Did I read that right? That sounded weird. Paper heart, glue. Paper heart, glue. One more time. Paper heart, glue. Sometimes I feel like a, an aerobics instructor. Oh, they're lovely! These will certainly go towards creating a lovely romantic atmosphere in the cafe. I couldn't have done better myself. Oh, what? Wait? You're saying you're completely finished with the menus? Like, completely? I haven't even started decorating yet. Where's the time going? Help! Panic! Breathe, Catherine. Now we don't want to panic too much. What am I even saying? There's every reason to panic! Oh, nice and easy now, Catherine. Just breathe. Sorry, what did you say? Great idea, Cadence. You get started with the decorating. I'll start baking instead. Yeah. She doesn't want us involved in baking. I'll do everything else except the baking. I will eat the baked goods. Sounds like a plan. To be able to make it all super romantic, I thought perhaps we could have some candles on the tables. Candles make everything romantic. I remember my first date. What a memory. We ate lasagna and I had on this cute little blue dress with flowers on. And there were candles. Real, beautiful candles. There's something magical about the scent of real candles. Oh gosh, what on earth am I doing? We don't have time to stand here chatting about old memories. If we're going to get anything done, we need to get started right away. Okay, let's do... Oh! Candle. Got it. I love candles, too. Not even just because they're rom... Oops, sorry, Rose Rider. Because they're romantic. Oh, we have a friend request. From Scarlet Spring. Oh, I didn't mean to hit no. I'm sorry. I didn't mean to hit no. <laughs> I'm so sorry, Scarlet. It looks lovely and cozy. Oh, lovely. It feels like it was only yesterday that I was on that date. We don't need to know about it, though, Catherine. Oops, get a little closer there, friend. Okay, focus, Catherine, focus. Are you setting out the new menus on the table as well? What did I do with my ladle? Where have I put my apron? Oh, here are the menus, anyway. They're really lovely. Can you set them out on the tables? Then I can get started with the baking. Let's see. Ladle, ladle, ladle. Or should I use a whisk? I, I don't know. Probably, if you're, probably a whisk? I don't know. I guess it depends on what, what you're making, yeah? A ladle? They're very different objects. <laughs> a whisk is for, you know, mixing stuff, and a ladle is for scooping up and serving things. Oh, Catherine. 
making me think about food things. Hey, what are those girls doing? Couldn't they be helping? Why is her hat so tipped to the side? Mine's not that extreme. I like her gray hat. I need one of those. Ladies, you could be helping. How lovely you've made it look. What do you mean, how's it gone with the baking? From Catherine. Of course, the baking. I'd completely forgotten. What are you doing just standing there? I say that, but I was supposed to do laundry yesterday, and I thought of it a million times and kept forgetting. So, I, I understand. I was looking for my apron for so long. I can't start without my apron. And then I started thinking about that lasagna again. Oh my gosh, it was incredibly delicious. Almost magical. I'm not a fan of the lasagna. I don't know about you guys. I wonder how they got it to, to taste so brilliant. They must have had basil in there. Maybe they used fresh basil and not the dried kind. What other kinds of herbs and spices must they have used in the lasagna? Tarragon? Paprika? Wait, now I'm at it again. I have the hardest time keeping focus, Kaden. It's too easy for me to start rambling on about other things. What was it? Baking? Ah, yes. Let's see. I need eggs. Oh, my word. Eggs. Can't stop thinking about scrambled eggs and pancakes. Delicious. Just imagine having warm, delicious scrambled eggs for breakfast. Mmm. Oh, my gosh. Anyway. Eggs, eggs, eggs. It's obvious. Why didn't you think of this, Catherine? If we're to have eggs... They should absolutely be from Susanna. You'll never find an egg of a higher standard. Total quality. Susanna's standing over there, managing the riding competitions. I'm not sure where she finds or buys her eggs, but they're sensationally delicious. Almost as delicious as that delicious lasagna I briefly mentioned. That said, you can't compare eggs with a lasagna like that. It's like it was the lasagna of the gods. Supreme. Beyond anything I've ever experienced. I'd never be able to compete. Complete. One of those races Susanna manages, but I'm quite sure you'd do all right. I'm about as much use on horseback as a fridge on a pig. If you were a pig, do you think you'd want to carry a fridge? Exactly. Oh, you're off to talk to Susanna about eggs? Lovely. That means I need to crack on with the baking. Oh my word, is it that time already? Help. How much baking is she going to do without eggs and milk yet, though? Focus, Catherine, focus. Cadence, I need to try and focus on my baking. What else do I need? <gasps> milk. Ride to the Sunfield Farm and talk to Martina. I usually buy milk from their farm. Oh, their farm. It's so lovely and cozy. I know. I do agree, Catherine. Just think buying milk from a real dairy farmyard. Say no more, am I right? Once you've bought it from a real dairy farmyard once, you'll never buy it anywhere else ever again. Many, many years ago, there was an old... Many, many years ago, there was an old man who used to come to my cafe and buy a hot chocolate every morning. He always used to say to me that you could only ever make real hot chocolate by using real milk and real cocoa. He taught me how to make hot chocolate into a truly special treat. He was such a lovely old man, but I, I think he might have moved away now. Anyway, you mentioned something about milk. Oh yes, of course, I need the milk for the baking. Help, how will I ever find time for all of this? Please ride over to Martina Sunfield and I'll keep going here. Keep going, doing nothing. I don't know what she's gonna do until uh, till we get that stuff for her. Uh, these ladies aren't helping. Susanna, start baking with eggs. Aha, Catherine's baking and needs eggs. The eggs that Catherine's after are from a little group of wild hens that you've probably seen scurrying around here and there. I try to keep it a little bit of a secret because I don't exactly want a whole bunch of people running around after my little lovelies picking up their eggs. Especially not since my competition track goes along those roads. The hens belong to the old couple who lived up at Seahorse Point, but after they moved away, the hens just seemed to stay. I tried to look after them, giving them water and so on, but now they seem to have turned into the area's very own wild hens. There's a lot of wild hens running around Yorvik. If you take a trot around the area, you'll be sure to find some eggs lying around if you look closely enough. If you come back to me afterwards, I'll be sure to pop them into a nice little box so that you can take them back to Catherine. Thank you, Susanna. Final egg. Awesome. This must be the house she was referring to. It's an okay house, just a little overgrown. Excellent, you managed to find some eggs. That's just great. They look fantastic. Before you take the eggs to Catherine, I'll just need to ask you to make sure you keep where the eggs came from a secret. Like I said, I don't really want a whole bunch of people just showing up and taking over the racetrack. You'll make the eggs, you'll take the eggs to Catherine now? Super. 
<laughs> I'll put them in this little box for you so that you can so that they'll all make it there in one piece. Hope you enjoy the rest of your day. Thanks, Susanna. 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 Here we are. We still have to do rep stuff over here as well. <laughs> I slack so much on the reputation stuff because we haven't even unlocked the kittens. There's like kittens for sale here. <laughs> Hello. Happy Valentine's Day to you too, Cadence. Aha, Catherine needs milk, eh? Of course you can pick some up for her. All you need to do is take this empty bucket, go into the cow shed, and milk the cows. When you're done, you can come back to me with the bucket. I've got a little bit too much to do right now, otherwise I'd have offered to do it for you myself. That's quite all right. We've, we've milked cows before. We're pretty good at this. Except maybe not. <laughs> Hold on a moment while I pour the milk into these bottles. There we are. Now all of the milk is in nice, easy-to-carry bottles. No point taking a chance and spilling any on your way back to Catherine. Here you go. Take these bottles back to her. Yes, ma'am. Oh, that's not my horse. This is my horse. Rose Rider. I'm so happy I bought this horse. I've wanted one for a long time, and I just thought it would be so cool to get a new horse on my birthday. So we went ahead and picked this one. There, we were choosing between the the blue roan American Quarter Horse and this one, but I'm kind of glad we decided on this one. I love her. Another one of the horses I'm very much looking forward to is the Brown Lippets Honor. I I know typically they're white, and I bought white on Nova, but for Cadence, I'd really like to get the brown one. I've seen it in game, and I think it looks beautiful. Oh, I'm so excited! And to bring Lucky Dust into the game. Who I know is going to look a lot like Norse Shadow, but that's okay. He's special because he was he lived on my phone for a little while. <laughs> Alright, Catherine, we've got your goods. Oh, lovely. Thanks for getting the milk for me, Cadence. Now I'm going to bake up a storm. Excellent. You got eggs from Susanna? Thank you, Cadence. Oh, now what we're going to do is uh, do these quests again a second time. And then it should unlock the next part of the quest for us. The Valentine's Day quests re require repeating actions. So I'm going to do those real quick and then head back to Catherine. Woohoo! So we traded in some more milk and eggs. And now Catherine's ready to do the next part of the quest. Hooray! Now my Valentine's pastries are finished. These are going to be a smash hit. Who could resist such a romantic baked delight? Well, it feels lovely, Cadence. Feels like we're going to get everything done in time. Did I tell you about the time a few years ago when I was supposed to go out sailing? The captain, if I remember rightly, was an incredibly uppity, practical man, but... Uh, hand out cakes. What? You want to hand out samples of my cakes? Oh, how lovely of you. Thank you so much. Would you be able to ask people what they think of them as well? Then I'll know if I've managed to create the perfectly cute and love-filled cake. The perfectly cute and love-filled cake. Okay. We'll try it, though. She didn't ask us, so <laughs> I guess we're just gonna go hand them out. Uh, hello, madams. Have a cake. What do you mean, unusual flavor? It's a totally normal cake. It's supposed to be a Valentine's cake, though. Tuva? Oh, Tuva thinks it's a normal cake, too. Hello, glasses girl. Oh, just a normal cake. I probably would have thought it was delicious, but I wasn't offered one. Hmm. What did people think of my Valentine's pastries? Did they like them? Did they hate them? Tell me. I need to know the results. What? They didn't think they were made especially for Valentine's Day. Ooh, we got a shirt. Hold our horses. Oh, it's super cute. Ah, we need pants to go with it because I don't know that these go too well, but at least they, that shirt matches our gloves now. Yes. Yes. All right, I think we're going to leave it here for now and continue the Valentine's adventure next time. But thank you for tuning in. Thank you to everyone who did the Valentine's Day race with me. That was super cool and I really appreciate it. Again, hello, Ella. I'll hopefully see you soon. Give a thumbs up if you're enjoying the Valentine's event. I know I am. I love the new race. I think it's really cool. And I'm so happy to have Rose Riders. Super excited. And I'll be doing the Mustang transition soon. So we'll all get to meet Lucky Dust in the game already at level 10 yes people like me need that <laughs> anyway i'll see you next time bye